All right, www.powerfulradiofm.com. You're listening to the Ken Davis Radio Show. And today I got a really special guest on the line, a sexy lady who lights up the stage every time she's on it, literally. <laughs> the the sexy burlesque dancer, Miss Eva Ladere. How you doing, Eva? I'm good. How are you doing? Oh, I'm good now that I got you on the phone. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so how's the tour going? Wild ride. Wow, wow. So you're 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 basically you're performing with T Pain, right? I am. I'm in the T Pain section of the show. There's many acts on this ticket. We have Keisha Cole, we have Gym Class Heroes, we've got of course Lil Wayne himself, um, and Carrie Hilson as as well. But I'm in the T Pain part of the show, the three ring circus baby. <laughs> now I was gonna ask you, I know T Pain he, he calls himself the ring leader. Um, how did you get involved with, with being part of his act? Uh, I've actually started working with T-Pain back in June when he started doing his TV performances to promote his record. And uh, we did the BET Awards, BET Hip Hop Awards, uh, Jimmy Kimmel, SNL. Uh, we did 106 in Park. And every time we put together a different type of circus performance, it, whether it was the Silk or Fire or Ariel or like we did on SNL. We did a, a gorgeous piece where we were living statues and we were painted from head to toe and we were doing choreography around him. It, it was pretty cool. But it started back in June and then once they settled on what the tour was going to be, they offered me a role to do my thing with them. So I said, yeah, I said, of course. Right. <laughs> you're going to miss that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, you're pretty well known in the industry. How did you... Um, get started doing burlesque dancing? Well, it comes from a mixture of my background in dance and my circus skills, which I've been developing since I was a kid. Um, I've done some circus. Uh, I've worked with a couple circuses. I've, you know, done almost everything you can do as a dancer as far as TV, film, stage, um, uh, you know, live events, music videos. And about Three years ago, I started playing with the idea of mixing the two because I'm a huge fan of Josephine Baker and Betty Page, and this this character started to come along that made sense as far as mixing my silk skills, my fire skills, juggling, everything that I do with circus, and making it sexy and entertaining, and, you know, I don't know, Eva just came out of that. Um, I think the the very first exposure as Eva happened in the movie Idlewild, which I did with Outcast, and I, I do a whole fire and silt number with Macy Gray in the very first musical number in the movie. And I think that just set the stage for what Eva was going to be. Or or doing burlesque dancing, you've always had that, that interest. I've had that interest. You know, I, I, I love being a performer and uh, looking for new ways to do things. And for some reason, the burlesque outlet, you know, didn't, they have your traditional entertainers doing burlesque and doing striptease, which I do, you know, in my my solo shows, but I just had never seen anyone incorporate some of the skills that I do, so it, it gave me something to kind of experiment with, you know? Right. Now, now let me ask you, is that dangerous? I mean, you know, breathing fire, <laughs> <laughs> like, um, you know... Yeah. <laughs> Wow. So someone will say, wow, that's really hot. And I'll be like, yeah, because it's really fire. Um, it's real fire. I've been working with fire for 18 years since I was very young. I worked with a lot of fire performers and, and learned from them and kind of de developed my own style. And um, same thing with the silks and, and my juggling skills. I, you know, I started off really young. Um, but the silks, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a balancing act. You know, you really have to be confident on them. You really have to, to know your, um, you have to be very aware of your environment and people and, you know, you always have eyes in the back of your head. It's it's a hazard, you know, um, but I, I have full respect for the elements that I work with and I always try to put on a very professional face show because, you know, I work with a lot of fire marshals and getting permits and, you know, you hear these terrible accidents happen in clubs that, you know, have to deal with pyro, which is totally different from what I'm doing. 
I'm not blowing anything up, but still it's within that fire pyro range and um I take it very seriously, but I still want people to have fun. Right. Has has anything ever happened to you like anything like that like you were saying like is any type of accident or came close or oh, you do a no. lot of rehearsing? Uh I do a lot of rehearsing. I do a lot of I do a lot of exper- uh, exper- experimentation with what props I create cuz I create a lot of my own props. Um and what fuels I'm going to use. I test everything out um, to make sure, you know, that there's not going to be any surprises. Um, and so far, knock on wood, I have not had an incident. Right, right. Okay, that's yeah. good, Dan, yeah. Um, now, you also, you were a part of the Madonna tour, right? The Madonna tour. Um, I, I actually, it's interesting how it came up because, I also do motion capture, acting, and movement for animation, video games, and whatnot. And I had done a, a campaign for Prada last year where they had a – their whole uh, spring fashion was influenced by this forest nymph that they created that I was cast as um, to do these short films. And I guess Madonna saw it at the show last year and wanted it in her – show so i was brought in to create a whole new short film as the the nymph and then they put it on the big screen for one of her numbers i believe it was the number rain and i saw it it was beautiful um you know uh i'm so honored that she was impressed by it to put it in her show right right yeah that's big madonna that's really big yeah (laughs) yeah right so now, also, um, you you're the voice of the new Resident Evil Five of of Shiva, right? Yes, Shiva Alamar, I am, um, and that's one of my favorite projects that I've been working on over the year. Um, I I voice her, I do her motions, um, anything that has to do with her, I was a part of. Uh, I've been working on it since last, oh gosh, almost over a year now. But the game comes out in March, March thirteenth. And uh, she's the first African American character that was brought to the series by Capcom. So, oh, you know, I'm really proud of that. I'm, I'm glad that they that they included her finally. And, and she's a strong character. She's very capable. Right. And you s- you said you've been working on that for a year. Yeah, I started um, 2007 October uh, when they offered me the part. I had to go into training with uh, rifles and pistols, and I had to do some stunt training because I did all my own stunts. And um, once we got into the training and then started doing motion capture, there were several sessions, and then you go into the voice recording, which is also, you know, takes place throughout the year. Um, I'm just about, I mean, I finished most of my pickups and stuff like that end of last year, and now I'm just doing a lot of PR for them until the game comes out. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So that, so that means I'm going to I'm going to get a copy of the game, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's the address? All right, would you sign it? Who's on stilts? Well, I'm a little too big though to be walking around on oh, stilts. You got to get one in your size. What's your size? Oh, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> oh, okay. No, nah, no. Nah, we 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 can talk about that later, you know? Okay. <laughs> All right. So where are you guys at? Uh, like today on tour? Um, I'm actually back in L.A. today because I'm shooting a music video uh, for some music that I've been doing on my own, some solo stuff. Um, so I'm shooting a music video tomorrow, and then I head out tomorrow evening to Long Island where we'll be playing uh, in Long Island on Friday night. Oh, okay. Let's, yeah. talk, let's talk about your music. Um, so you do music as well. I do. I'm starting to record some some pop dance stuff and uh, working with different producers. And I've got about three tracks on iTunes right now, a little mini album. Uh, you can check it out. Just throw Evil Adair in the search engine there and uh, on your iTunes thing. But, yeah, there's a couple tunes out there, and I'm going to shoot this video and, and just take it one step at a time, you know. Um, I'm just enjoying being very creative right now while I have the opportunity. Right, right. So, so what type of music? I mean, is it gonna be? Is it, is it R and B? It's pop. Pop. It's, uh, it's, 